Can you see that bright object in the sky? That's the Andromeda Galaxy. Although several dozen minor galaxies lie closer to our Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy is the closest large spiral galaxy to ours. At 2.5 million light years, it's the most distant thing you can see with the naked eye. Just to put that in perspective, our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is about 100,000 light years across. And the Andromeda Galaxy is about 152,000 light years across. The Andromeda Galaxy is approaching the Milky Way at about 110 kilometers per second. One day, far in the future, Andromeda will be bright in our sky, growing larger and larger as it gets closer and closer to us. And even though the two galaxies are still 2.5 million light years apart, the eventual merger of our two galaxies has, in fact, already begun. In 2012, NASA warned us all that one day our Milky Way galaxy is headed for a crash with the neighboring Andromeda galaxy. This event was not supposed to happen for another 4.5 billion years. But now, new research reveals that the process may have already begun. The news about the Andromeda Galaxy came from Project Amiga which uses the Hubble Space Telescope to look at the deep space surroundings of the Andromeda Galaxy. Amiga stands for Absorption Map of Ionized Gas in Andromeda. NASA called it the most comprehensive study, a halo surrounding a galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy, our Milky Way and other galaxies all sit enshrouded in a large envelope called a galactic halo, which consists of gas, dust, and stray stars. The halos of galaxies are so faint that detecting them is not an easy feat. These astronomers measured the size of the halo of the Andromeda galaxy by looking at how much it absorbed light from background quasars. They were surprised to find that the Andromeda galaxy's halo stretches much, much farther beyond its visible boundaries. Indeed, it extends as far as half the distance to our Milky Way and even farther in other directions, up to 2 million light years. So, does this mean the halos of the Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies are touching? It turns out that, from our vantage point inside the Milky Way, we cannot easily measure the characteristics of our galaxy's halo. However, because the two galaxies are so similar in size and appearance, scientists assume that the halo of the Milky Way would also be similar. In other words, it's the faint halos of the galaxies that indeed appear to have started to touch one another. Thus, in a manner of speaking, the collision between our two galaxies has already started. So what will the Andromeda merger look like? NASA released these images in 2012. The images below are based on painstaking Hubble Space Telescope measurements of the motion of the Andromeda galaxy, with computer modeling of the inevitable collision between the two galaxies. Also, a series of studies published in 2012 showed that, rather than glancing off each other, as merging galaxies sometimes do, our Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy will in fact merge to form a single big elliptical, or football-shaped galaxy. What happens to stars and planets when galaxies merge? Across the universe, galaxies are colliding with each other. Astronomers observe galactic collisions, or their aftermaths, with the aid of powerful telescopes. In some ways, when a galactic merger takes place, the two galaxies are like ghosts. They simply pass through each other. That's because stars inside galaxies are separated by such great distances. Thus, the stars themselves typically don't collide when galaxies merge, that said, the stars in both the Andromeda Galaxy and our Milky Way will be affected by the merger. The Andromeda Galaxy contains about a trillion stars. Meanwhile, the Milky Way has about 300 billion stars. Stars from both galaxies will be thrown into new orbits around the newly merged galactic center. But what about life on Earth? Well, the Sun will eventually become a red giant in about 7.5 billion years when it will increase in size and consume the Earth. But even before then, the luminosity or intrinsic brightness of the Sun will increase. This will happen, ultimately, in a timeline of about 4 billion years. As solar radiation reaching the Earth increases, Earth's surface temperature will increase. We may undergo a runaway greenhouse effect, similar to that going on now on Venus. So there's a big change that earthly life won't be around when the merger concludes. But by that time, maybe some earthly inhabitants will have become spacefaring. Perhaps we'll have left Earth, and even our solar system. We may still get the view of Andromeda crashing into the Milky Way, just from a slightly different perspective. But now I have a little question for you. Do you think humanity will find a new planet to watch the stellar collision, and when these two galaxies collide, how would you name this one big galaxy? If you don't want to miss other videos, then like this video and follow this account for more. See you all in the next video.